What's up guys? Today we're making cauliflower with blue cheese topping and added with some rosemary potatoes and smoked mushrooms. Good recipe, vegetarian, I like it. I did the pre-work already. Please let me know if you like it or if you want to see the cutting. I will explain every part. The blue cheese. Walnut piece is crushed. Rosemary. Fresh parsley. Garlic. Potatoes. Mushrooms. Cauliflower. And smoked paprika powder. Added to that we also use some cream. And uh, yeah, let's get started guys. Uh, we start first with the oven in 200 degrees. So let's heat that baby up. And yeah, after that, if you, I cut all usually all the pieces before. I like this style better, but you could start actually with the garlic and then the mushrooms. And then you mix the uh, mushrooms and the garlic in a bowl. So, let's start with that. So we grab the mushrooms. And the garlic. And we mix it in the bowl. And what we add to that, is again a recipe for two persons. The kids eat something else. They will eat uh, breads with smoked sausage. You will see that recipe as well. Uh, with this, we add for two persons one eating spoon of olive oil and one teaspoon of smoked paprika powder. And with that, we add some salt and pepper. Yeah, that's the basic shit. And we mix it. So we have a nice mix for the mushrooms. So. This is good regarding to the bowl. Put it aside. So, this is the rosemary. You cut it from the leaves. You cut it in nice and it looks like this. It smells delicious. Then you wash the potatoes and cut it in these types of parts. And we will mix that in a bowl as well. So, bowl number two. Grab the potatoes. The nice bowl and then the rosemary. And with this, again, one teaspoon of olive oil. It's around this. And then mix it. So. And of course with some salt and pepper. Simple home cooking guys. But delicious. So. Okay, what we will do with this, we will spread this around a baking plate. Coming right up. So I will prepare the baking plate and you will see the result. Put it in the oven 200 degrees for about 15 minutes. Okay, so the potatoes are finished. So 
So what we do, we throw them out. You see the result right here. And then we just, you know, grab a plate to this, mix them around. And then we will add the mushrooms aside. So keep them separated more in the corner and then we throw the mushrooms aside like this and then we throw them back in the oven for about 25 minutes We will add the cauliflower to a boiled pan. Uh, when it's boiling, throw it in, let it for about 10 minutes boil, and then we can bake it afterwards. Okay, what water is boiling, and we throw the cauliflower inside. Let this boil for approximately 10 to 12 minutes. So, right now, we will, the cauliflower is finished. My mistake, I cut it really small. We will mash apart and we will not mash apart, so we will see what happens. We will bake it right now with olive oil. Okay, we will add some of the cauliflower. Usually you have to have like two big pieces. But now we will just add a mixture of some. And the rest we will mash. So we will do it like this. You have to improvise while you're cooking. We'll add some salt. So next time, use a bigger piece. But still we have to improvise. Medium temperature, bake it a little bit. It has to be a little bit brown. They're a bit of brown. We let it rest. And what we will, uh, and at the meantime, you know, throw a little bit salt around it and some pepper. Let it rest for a bit. So usually we cut it one time and it's bigger, you know, like a big piece. But the broccoli, uh, the cold flour was like a little bit uh, shrinking. So, you know, my mistake, honestly. As for now, we will have the parsley yet, cut it in nice. And we will mix some things in the bowl. We will do the half of the, the parsley. So we throw the half in the bowl together with 50 milliliter, uh, no, 100 milliliter, my apologies. 100 milliliter of cream. Milliliter cream, add it. I measure it in a cup, uh, cup holder. And then you will add a teaspoon of the Middle, Middle Eastern herbs. The herbs are basically the best herbs in the market, roasted garlic, coriander, chili, cumin, sea salt, onion, paprika, those types of things. And that's one teaspoon at a time. So we're cooking now for two persons. We use, we use uh, one, uh, two teaspoons. So one, and then we will mix it with a machine we will mix it with this you you will add the cooked cauliflower as well so half of it I use to bake 
usually you just make two big sizes and these are the small ones. And use this for like the type of cream. So let's go. A nice creamy result so what we will do now we will put it back we will put the sauce back what I just made Keep it on low fire until the recipe is warm and add some pepper and salt to it. So this is like the sauce. Cover it up. This is about the blue cheese, Danish blue one of the best you'll crush it and use my bare hands into this actually it's already like crushed so we don't care we just use it and with that we will mix the remaining parsley around it some walnuts and the mushrooms Mushrooms from the oven, remember? We will mix it and we serve this with the potatoes and this will be like around it. And we use the remaining Middle, East, Middle Eastern herbs for that to give it a nice taste. So, give a nice cover. the potatoes, the cauliflower, the paste and the fresh uh, accessories, the mushrooms, the blue cheese etc. It's really nice to eat it with bread, it's like a pre-starter. It's a nice pre-starter to eat with fresh bread and then you can start on the main two course which will be a roti, a, a nice recipe from Suriname. You will see this afterwards. Please don't forget to like and subscribe guys, thank you very much. Please keep following Mr. Cooksey, interact with me and uh, throw some suggestions for some new recipes. Take care, bye bye, peace.